Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video we will see the effect of the boundary conditions. For analysis, I have choose a rectangular beam under combined loading of thermal and static load with two different boundary condition. So let's start. Beam dimension are as follow. We are using a rectangular cross section beam of 2040 mm cross section and 300 mm of length. Material and loading condition. Stainless steel of grade 304 is used as a beam material. Properties of the material are as listed as given table. For the analysis we are using combined loading scenario. In which beam will subjected to. Uniformly distributed load of 30 N per millimeter of length. And thermal loading. In which we are assuming that beam is install, or in the beginning, at 3 degrees Celsius. And from this initial condition beam temperature increased to 48 degrees Celsius. This increase in temperature will try to expand our beam, which will cause thermal stress or strain depending upon the boundary condition. Boundary Condition To understand the effect of boundary condition on the analysis, we will study two type of boundary condition in this video. First is, fixed support at both end. Second is, simply supported beam in this case beam end are for fix and allowed to deform. For both of the boundary condition I performed FAYA simulation. Let's see the simulation video and results. Result of the FAYA simulation reflect how critical boundary condition are in the modeling process. A wrong boundary condition can lead to completely wrong estimation of factor of safety, maximum stress and displacement of structure. In our example as you can see factor of safety for fixed supported in below 1 and almost 1 fourth of estimated using simply supported beam. This trend is almost similar in other three parameters maximum displacement, stress and strain too. From my study we can conclude following thing. First is, boundary condition are very critical in every analysis. And sometimes choosing only one wrong boundary condition can lead to very wrong estimates. Second will be, simply supported beam performed very well under combined loading of thermal and static load. There is real world application of second remark. If you lives in a city you will encountering with over bridge on daily basis. Would you ever wonder why they put small gap between two successive bridge column? Also bridge column are suspended by pin and roller joint with. Reason behind doing this is thermal load. It will allow bridge column to expand and contract. It is very much like to simply support it being.